Good morning guys. So it is Monday of a brand new week. I've got a week left of my off week until we go back and travel. So I thought I'd just show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. We are starting off today with a gym session. So I found a gym and it has a TPI TPI certified trainer. Um, so what that basically means is TPI is Thailand's Performance Institute. So basically it's a person that knows how to train you based on your based on like train golfers and not just train um, people in general which I think is a big difference because not every workout that everybody does is going to be suitable for golfers and you need to know how to train your body for golf so that's why I was very excited when I found a TPI trainer here if you guys know in Malaysia I do have a golf trainer so it has been quite hard to not have a trainer here and to not be able to work out and follow my routine so hopefully this session goes good this is going to be my first session so I'm just going to see how it goes and then I'll let you guys know. Anyway, I am still trying to put it on my map because I don't know my way around town. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to drive now. It has been raining for like days. I don't know what's going on. So I have to reorganize my bag because I played in the rain yesterday and I took everything out because everything was soaking wet. So that's what I'm going to do now. This buddy buddy got a little buff yesterday too. Also got two new wedges yesterday. It's basically the same wedges. It's just that I got my 52 in an eight, which is the same as my 58. But they previously didn't have this, so this is what they look like. There we go. You see that smiley? Um, so I just talked to my parents for a bit. Now I'm gonna go change and get ready for golf. I've been really enjoying watching these girls vlogs. It's honestly like, I don't know what's so addicting about it. It's literally her just making food. But it's like so nice to watch. And it's like all Korean food. But yeah, I've just been watching that while doing stuff. <laughs> anyway, time to get ready for golf. So I'm going to do a little bit of my warm up while waiting for my friend and I'm going to use my band. I am so tight because I had my first workout yesterday in like forever but yeah it feels good because I'm like sore in places that you normally don't get sore at which I find to be the meaning of a good workout. Crazy. We've got a treat. This is Dana. Hi.
Is this popular? Yeah. A brush fire and brush fire and crossroads. Crossroads. Did you got it? Trash or tr trashy trailer park. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. Taste test. I don't even know which is which. Actually. That one is the um, crossroad road. What is it again? Brisket. Crossroad. Crossroad. What's the question? What is what? What's it? I don't know. You don't order it. Brisket, avocado, looks like some cilantro, onion, jalapeno. Mangoes? I think so. Maybe. I freaking love cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like your mom. She loves cilantro too. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm I got food all over me though. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a little messy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Look at the welcome home that I get. I love you. She said, I don't love you. Squishies. I can't stand her. She's so cute. So it's 6 o'clock right now, I'm about done with practice, I'm going to go back and have some dinner. I did quite a few drills for my putting, I just felt like I was missing quite a few putts today and I think you'll see that in the vlog that I post today. Um, so yeah, just came out here to do some of the putting drills. I always like to do the 72 drill, as you guys know, that's like one of my go-tos. And then I just did some drills on start line and making sure I'm starting the ball in line and making sure that it's nothing stroke related maybe it's screen related maybe speed related but that it's not stroke related so i worked on some stuff and i feel good so it's time to call it a day and go home also look at what a pretty day it turned out to be so we also had like the best practice weather since i've been back here in austin so i'm hoping that the rain has gone away because it's been raining like crazy and i still got about well a couple more days before I have to leave for my next event so I would like to get some good practice in before that and it's not like you can't practice in the rain there's only a limit to how much you can practice before you get too wet and you're just like soaking water at that point so it was super nice to have a good productive practice session today um, I might end this vlog for today here and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow so apparently where we're going requires sunglasses and I don't have any so, option one. Option two. I'm definitely going for option one. Those All right, let's go. Yeah, these are these are kind of ugly. Those look good. <laughs>
morning guys it's a brand new day and we've got a busy day today we're gonna start off with a gym session which I think I'm gonna go take some videos for you guys but also I'm extremely sore from Monday's workout so I don't know how I'm gonna get through this but I guess we'll see I'll see you guys over there I don't think it's supposed to rain today but look at that that's kind of scary. I hate these things. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> the workout is done and now we have something very interesting and exciting which I'm going to bring you guys along to so I hope you guys keep watching golfer entrance I like that Are your clubs, do you know what length, like what do you play your regular set at? It's like standard length? Honestly, I'm not very good with like clubs. Okay. So that's where I'm a fitter at home. Find out? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I think she, you know, been having that wingspan longer, you know, you don't need long clubs. I mean, I could play at standard length clubs because my wingspan's so long. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? This is a different head, but same similar specs to what you got. Just a little shorter. See if that feels more comfortable like your own thing. Do I like it? Yeah, you're still going to square it up the same. I'm just going to see if it's a different kind of you get on the ball. Would that like feel more comfortable? Like you can get down your chance a little better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think your aim's well. Um, Getting the butter shorter, you can go up and get on top of it a little more and get a little more vertical. Set it down again like normal. This again, I just want you to like choke down an inch from normal, okay? An inch from normal? Yeah, like if you're going to drip it normally, they just feel like you drip down just a little more down. See, she almost like presses a little bit as her trigger, so that little range mm -hmm. of that loft down. Yep. Off that dress is you know, important to square it up, but if you're not changing the orientation of how you aim it when you forward press, it's that hurt. I don't roll them that straight, do you? No. Mine well seems to do that. Yeah, well. We're not very good putters. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yours feel maybe a little heavy in the head. My putter? Yeah, mm -hmm. like your stroke length's not like crazy long, so I think you'd probably benefit from being a little lighter, but we can also put some, some counterweight too, see if that counterweight will naturally lighten up the head without making it lighter. Mm -hmm. Try to see what the head weight's at. So this is 365 grams, so I'll build it up where we get almost to exactly 365 with that putter, so we'll get to the same specs, and let's mess around with some counterweight to see how much of a, that will change your stroke. I think it'll help you a little bit, just easier to get the club into motion. You know, the thing is, right, these days the butters are heavy in the head. They were forever built at 280 and when he was a kid, you know, they were 270 to 320 grams. That's how they made butters and it progressively gotten heavier as a whole. And greens have gotten better, they've gotten faster, and there's all these new grasses where you can make them faster. So, but they needed to make the, the heads heavier. But you get this feeling, you know, we're all linear putters, you know, we all putt with the handle, we all lean the handle forward, we're not much of head swingers, right? We power the club from here. So this is super light and this is heavy, you get that feeling of like an apple tied in the bottom of the string. So you add weight up here, right? So you get that club to kind of push into one motion. So if not, you know, we lean the handle, the head lags, and then we gotta flip at it. So the thought of counterweight, I mean people have been doing counterweight forever. 
and Crenshaw would have a leather grip with a cap on it, scoop sand out of the bunker, figure out how much he liked, no, didn't like it, dumped it out, put more. I mean, the people have been doing it forever just to kind of wake the club. Is that legal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, as long as he didn't do it during the round. <laughs> He'd have a leather wrap grip with a cap on it. Yeah. Because the sand and, and the bunker is thicker, so you can get it heavier. And you'd kind of weight the club. You'd have cork down there and, and no, you no could make those internal weights. I didn't know that. I think you'd benefit from a little bit of counter up top. Just a little bit. That head's heavy. I mean, that's 365 grams. That's a lot. We don't need to make one that heavy. It's easier to release, right? I, I like that. I think you, you pop at it more with this than you do with that. You want me to put a counterweight in there? In this? Yeah. So it would it would make it feel more balanced on the mm -hmm. right? It would make the head feel lighter without making it lighter. Mm -hmm. So it would just be at the top end of it. You okay. try to see it one more time. If, we, if I put the other one in, you can use like a tour lock tool, and if you, if you happen to don't like it or probe changes a little bit, you know, you can take it out easy. If we use a counterweight like this, we glue it into the top, and all you have to do is heat it up to get it out, but it's a little more difficult. So, so she likes the round grip. Yeah. You want me to put, put that on? Is that a round grip? I have one that's just bigger than this, too. So this Good. one's probably a little that's bit smaller than yours. Yeah. I also have one that's like just a touch bigger. And it's a little heavier. So you get a little more of that counterweight feel to begin with because it's a heavier grip. Well, I kind of have like weird head proportions. So sometimes bigger, see like my grips are bigger for a small girl. Right. But sometimes it feels funny when it's on the kind of bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. No, all good. Just like this. It's okay and then when I put it on a powder it feels weird. <laughs> I think this one almost feels better. You feel like you can't get your hands on top enough with this. Like almost like I have to overlap mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then you start kind of closing the shoulders when yeah. you do that too. Okay. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? You want to put a round putter around grip on this? This one, I think this one's really nice. Yeah, we'll do it easy. Well, we'll get this one fitted to what we have and what we talked about and get it to you more. And you want that round grip? I'll mm -hmm. put the round grip on there. Yeah. Okay. Cut it down an inch. 50 gram counterweight and that round awesome. Alright guys, so now we are off to golf. So like I told you, we got a busy day today. Um, so one of the reasons why I went to Adele Putters just now was uh, not to get a new putter. Although, I don't know, the putters do look pretty good. I know they're not paying me to say this. But <laughs> uh, because my friend's dad is a friend of the owner so the guy was able to give me a little feedback on on the on my putter because I my putter is too long for me and because it's a counterbalance shaft not a counterbalance shaft but it's one of those like stability shaft things and I bought it off like just in a pro shop so obviously I couldn't customize it because it's from a pro shop and because it's got those stability shaft things, I can't just like cut it because if I cut it, it ruins the weight and stuff of the putter. So we had to go see someone like an expert and I didn't want to just go to like a golf store because I don't know how good they are. No offense to anyone working in a golf store. But obviously when you're doing something like that and when your putter is your livelihood, you want to make sure you do it right. So. I, I'm lucky that he knew someone and he could connect me with someone so we went there to that's basically what we were doing I'm still gonna use my same putter that I've been using which is the marksman um, I don't know if I'm going to get an Adele putter I'm I like the feel of it but it does feel very different from my current putter so for right now I'm just gonna stick with my Callaway because I don't want to get too much of a different feel with my putter before a tournament and I'm already used to the feel of the Callaway so for now I'm sticking with the Callaway but yeah it was just to get it retrofitted to make sure that it's fitted for me and it's pretty interesting too because those guys obviously they know their stuff because they fit putters and I've always known that I've got a wide wingspan but one of the reasons why I struggle with the longer putter too is because my wingspan is so I'm like five four five four and a half or something and my wingspan is like five seven and a half 
so when I bend over and my arms are that long and the putter is so long I feel like I'm kind of like restricted so that in a sense makes me feel like uncomfortable over the putter so obviously that's not good and that's why I wanted to get that fixed so it was very interesting it was nice to get someone to confirm those kind of things and like I said I've known that I have a long wingspan but I don't know what it is and I don't know if it's long enough to affect something like that but he said that it's definitely it definitely is and he can see that my posture over the ball just with the shorter putter is just a lot better so yeah I'm gonna get that done uh, so I'm gonna go play golf right now but I obviously don't have the putter with me so I'm just gonna use one of my other putters and yeah I'm excited to get my new retrofitter putter and hopefully the putting is going to be even better. Hey guys, so I just finished my round. I'm going to head home now. I'm super hungry. It's like already 7 o'clock. And um, we just had a round at Flint Rock. Flint Rock Country Club yeah unfortunately I didn't film it because I just I was playing with a bunch of friends and I just wanted to like go play golf um, but it was really fun I really like the golf course it's really pretty golf course if you get ever get the chance to play you definitely should but yeah I'm just super hungry super ready for dinner and on my way home now so I'm probably gonna end today's vlog right here and yeah I had a super productive day super long day I'm ready to go eat and go to bed so see you guys tomorrow